What is up, good people of the internet? Welcome back to my channel. It is currently 5.14 a.m. I'm loving life. <laughs> um, it is the first day back at classes for college, so which is partially one of the reasons, which is one of the reasons why I'm up so early. Um, so I don't have a class till seven though, so I'm gonna be just chilling for a bit, eating some breakfast, getting some work done so i'm going to check in with you guys after that but i did just want to hop here and say good morning and not just start the video off with a montage but that being said let's get to a short little montage b-roll thing Woo! Hello, it is now 6.18, I am heading to class, um, yeah, it's very dark as you can see, still very much nighttime. Um, well, not really nighttime, morning time, but no one is alive and awake, except for me and like other people who have classes at ungodly hours. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head to class, I gotta walk all the way down there. So, um, I will check in with you guys after I have class. So, yeah. See you then. Alright, what's up, people? I'm in a little bit of a rush right now because I had a schedule. The schedule's gone fucked. It's gone. I, so, I'm just rushing around. Um, I am heading to the gym now. Hopefully, I'm able to get in my entire workout. It's going to be rushed. I'm super set some things. Um, it'll be interesting. But... Get the workout in. No excuse to not get something in at the very least. I can at the very least get in my compound movements and like my bench and deadlift. So those are the same thing. Whatever. I'm a little rushed right now. My brain ain't working as good. It ain't braining the way it needs to. So I'm just going to get going to the gym and I will see you guys there. Hello! I realized I was just editing all the clips I got and I didn't record like kind of an ending to the day kind of situation so you just saw my workouts that was a that was a few hours ago I got more food in my belly worked on some editing got things set up for homework um, so I don't really got anything left in the day so I'm going to end not this video this portion of the video and I'm going to check back in with you guys tomorrow morning so I'm going to call that it for today, and I will see you in the morning.
Good morning, everybody. It is currently 6.36. How do I do this? There we go. It is currently 6.36. Um, I don't have class until 8.30 today, so I'm just taking this morning to be productive, do what I need to do. I am currently doing math. It is so much fun. I mean, here's the thing. I don't hate math. I also don't love it. It's just something I gotta do, and it's an important skill to have for life to, and to be successful. So, kids, do your math. Um, but, so I'm just kind of taking this morning to study, be productive, do whatever I can. Um, but, I'm not gonna force you to watch me do all of that and just be do random stuff for the next, like, two-ish hours. Um... So I just wanted to hop on and check in and tell you guys, hey, I'm awake, it's alive, video isn't over, don't worry. Um, so yeah, there's not really much more to say. I will check in with you guys when I am, or when something changes, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I gotta say for now. All right, hello, I have returned, but this time, I just wanted to take a moment and talk about something that I am very passionate about and that I very strongly believe in, and that is that everyone needs to take time to focus on themselves, whether it's, you know, 20 minutes throughout the day, an hour throughout the day, whatever the amount of time is. No matter who you are, you should always have time set aside to prioritize yourself. And especially if you're someone who likes to go out of your way to help other people, not necessarily a people pleaser, but just likes to put others before yourself, it's even more crucial to make time to put you first. Because a lot of the times what will happen is you'll put so much effort and so much energy into making other people around you happy, making other people around you feel good, that you forget that you also need to feel good and that you need to be happy. And it's not always something where it's like you feel like you don't deserve it or something like that and other people deserve it more. It's, that's not always the case. It could be you just forget that <laughs> you, you need time too. Um, I know that happens to me sometimes where I'm like, oh, I got to help this person do this. I got to help this person do this. All right, I'm going to be here for this person. And then I'm like, all right, well, it is now a week later and I haven't thought about myself once. So it's just, I do, I do truly believe that no matter who you are, what your profession in life is, what you're doing with life, whatever it is, you need, to, there needs to be time set aside for you. Because it's great to prioritize others and, you know, help others, but, you know, at the same time, there comes a point where that becomes uh, hurtful to you. So I don't know. It's just something I feel very strongly about and I wanted to push, I want to push that message of, hey, it's okay to take time for yourself. So, um, it is currently 5.18 in the morning. Glorious times. I'm starting to get more used to this getting up at 5 thing. I'm starting to get a little more energy in me when I wake up. We are doing the breakfast right now. Look at this, looks gorgeous. It is um, granola. Zero fat, plain rice, and then banana. Um, it's glorious, it is beautiful. I'm going to chow down on this, and then we're gonna hit the gym. See you there.
I was originally going to take you through all my meals today, what kind of what I generally have in a day when I eat, but that plan kind of went out the window because my dumbass forgot to, to film all the food, like two of the meals. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to kind of give a quick explanation of what I do and like how I view food and like how I think of it pretty much. I mean, it's not terribly complicated, you know, it's, it's, it's a little hard to eat the way you would want when you're on a college campus, but that doesn't mean that there aren't options, you know? At the end of the day, you're, you're limited with what you can have, so it doesn't really make any sense to stress about it past that. So what I do when I think about it is I'm just like, okay, here are my options. What is the healthiest option here, and what is the option that sounds like I could eat it and be happy with it in terms of taste-wise and texture and all that stuff. Because enjoying your food is also very important. Not just health, you also need to enjoy it. And then what I kind of do is I find the medium. I, I, I pick whichever one, or I, I pick the option that kind of fits both those categories the best. And if it comes down to it, I will always pick health over enjoyment because that's just me and that's how I like to do it. But generally speaking, you don't have to do that. That's just the way I do it and it's the way I know works for me. So it's just more do what you can, but don't stress about what you can't because at the end of the day, college is a finite amount of time. And as long as you're not going too terribly crazy, things are reversible. And as long as you're getting enough exercise and enough um, activity throughout the day, if you have a little bit of a <laughs> diet, you're gonna be fine. You, you got this. That's my two cents on that. But I don't really have anything else planned for today or going on today, so I am going to have to bring this video to an end here. I know it is sad, it is sad, single tear, close the curtains, all of that. But don't worry, there will be a new one coming eventually. This is just the end of this video. However, before I end, I would like to put a little announcement out there. Um, and that is... That, you know, you see me training and doing all of this stuff, but you might be like, why, why should I invest in this? You know, why should I watch this man's content? What is this leading up to? Well, I have an answer for that. Because, believe it or not, I am doing a powerlifting meet in May of this year. May 14th. Believe it or not, this is not my first powerlifting meet. This is my second. I know, I'm so experienced. But, eventually, and like, I'm thinking... Maybe April, mid-March. I'm thinking April. Like, start of April, I'm going to start a prep series on it, which I know no one on YouTube has ever done a prep series before. I'm going to be the first. I'm going to be so original. Um, but regardless of that fact, I think it would be fun. I'm just going to uh, do the prep series. What we're doing now is just building as much strength as we can. But, yeah, that is coming, and that is going to be a thing that happens. So... Get your butts ready for that, because it's going to go wild. All right, with that being said, time to bring this video to a close. Video? Did I did I fuck up saying that? I, I realized that earlier I said rice instead of yogurt somehow. I don't know how that happened. I apologize. My brain was... <laughs> something was not right there. So, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yes, I was ending the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave any suggestions or anything for what you want me to do uh, down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.